All right, today we're going to curate, we're going to create this wonderful site. There's a nice little template here. You click on it, you get to go to your portfolio. We're going to upload our own pictures in here. It kind of, just look at that, beautiful. You roll over it. I'm going to get rid of some of these menus up there. Change your name here so that it reflects who we are. And this is going to be a beauty. So let's get started. Now that you set up your Wix account, we're gonna go right up here. It's this create new site, and we're just going to crush that, and we're gonna hit it. It says, what kind of website are you going to create? We're gonna create and curate a site for photography. So we're just gonna come over here. We're gonna click on photography. And in here, we have a selection, a plethora, uh, a library whatever you have calling it there and in here we're going to look through so you're gonna find a style that's going to showcase your photos so let's take a look at this one here urban photography so well, first of all before we commit to editing we're just gonna view and see what we have here so right now it has the name so we're just gonna enter this site just to take a look and see this is our look see and see what's there all right so as a portfolio, you hover over your images. They kind of go dark, kind of liking this, liking this a lot, actually. All right, so let's say that this is here, and then you have some other menus here that you come across. We're gonna to go to Client Showcase, see what's there, probably a different gallery of sorts. Let's click on here, see what's kind of going on there. All right, so you have this window that pops up, a little gallery name you have your name that you can put in there maybe a theme and click on view photos all right I'm liking this okay so you can create some albums which become a gallery I really like this hovering over and going through yeah, I'm just gonna close that off there all right let's take a peek here let's go to portfolio and then everything else here we're just gonna let you kind of go through so we're gonna go back to portfolio and now I'm just gonna take a peek and I'm just gonna go to edit this site so now that we're going to, we found a site that we like, we're gonna go into it and just sort of see how all this stuff kind of comes together and works. All right, when you first come in, if there's windows that are gonna open up, we're just going to kind of hide some of these to make life a little bit easier. We're going to click on this minimize if you have that piece up. Properties show up here, we're just going to hit that little X here that little toolbar we're okay with that and then over here if there's stuff we're just going to hit this little arrow so that it makes it nice and simple so when we're starting off we're starting off with kind of a clean clean slate all right so the way that this works is there's some stuff here that you can use on the left hand side that's just going to add stuff so you can bring stuff in and mess around with it and then in here if we go up to this page if you click down you'll see that these are the different pages that we have a page. So right now we're on the welcome page. If we go to the portfolio page, this is the page there that has all the different menus that are in here. So that first page is kind of like a splash page, a page where it just has a little kind of intro. It's a quick little poof, attention grabber. That's what you need is just to grab some attention. Then the portfolio is the part that we're interested in. We're going to probably get rid of some of these other ones down here. So the first thing is the pages. This is going to be important. This has your pages in there. So the first thing is we're going to get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. So we're just going to go to the about page. It's going to look like so. And then we're going to go to the contact page. So this is how we navigate client showcase. And you can see it looks like this, except this is kind of a working area, working surface that we're working with. And then in here, so these are the pages. Now, if we want to get rid of some of these, we're going to go down to this very bottom part, which says manage pages, because we do want to manage these. We don't want to have so many pages in our showcase. So right here, we want to get rid of is we want to go to the about page. We're going to click in there. We're just going to hit the delete. And we're going to just say, heck no, we don't need you contact we are going to click and we're going to say hey we don't need you either don't contact us especially nowadays you want to eliminate as much contact as you possibly can all right book online there's no book online i like to read my books not on any line uh, client showcase right now we might just leave this so welcome is your main page 
portfolio is this second page and as you click you can actually see sort of the pages that they'll run i'm not sure if client showcase will use it all depends on what it looks like when we're done all right so the first thing we want to go to is the welcome page this is where we're going to make some changes to it once that's done we can just hit that little close so right here we're just going to click so once you click on an object like right now it says zoe marks i can click in here and this hovers over i go edit text instead of Zoe I want to write my name down I know it doesn't look at all like me but there Dom Gomes this is a little button so we're gonna leave that is to get into the site which will be fine so Dom Gomes if you had added text here if you want you can see it's got the theme which is called heading one here you want to change font so you can go nuts if you want to change the font size maybe make it bigger maybe make it smaller you can change that if you want to change it to bold, less bold, you want to change the color of your text, well, whew, that's very hard to read. So make sure that you're still applying some good rules, you know, of contrast, making sure that your image is standing out. And you can see there's lots of different things here that you can work through. And that will let you kind of go through. So I've changed this now to Dom Gomes. I've customized that. And I'm just kind of looking through sort of what's there. Now I can go back and let's change my page background because she does not look at all like me. <laughs> I'm a lot cuter. I'm just kidding. All right, so in here, once we clicked on change page background, this popped up. Now when this pops up, we can actually go into color. Maybe we want to make the background green. Eh, maybe not. But we can use this in combination with what's behind it. That's kind of cool. We can go to image here. And then once you click on image, you'll see that in the site here, you can upload your own photos. Okay. And we do encourage you to use your own pics. The photos that you're going to be taking over the next day, the next week, the next month, the next, hopefully just months or so. That'll be good. And you can put it in there. I'm going to upload from my computer. I'm going to find a picture of some sort. Oh, who's that good looking man? That's what I'm going to take. I'm going to hit open. It's going to add in here and it's uploading. So we want images that maybe are not super big. Like you don't want images that are over 25 megs or something because that might just end up taking a little bit long. So there is, and right now, something that says your image data will stay private. I'm just going to say no to that. Uh, let me mark faces. I prefer not to answer. Thanks for helping me out. I am helping you out. All right, after that, you can go change background. So now the background is, whoa, there is that person there. Now notice that right now, even though that, that was beautiful at one time, now it's kind of hard to, to see. All right, so text needs changing. Grab it, edit text. And let's just change the color here to something lighter. Still not quite doing it. Click somewhere up back here, change page background. And this time we're gonna go under setting because there's tons of options for my background. So my image here, I'm just going to maybe drop that down. So, because the color behind my image is this dark blue. So I can go in and actually change it to a black or red or green, or I could even come up and create my own color, my hexadecimal color hexadecimal 49176 so you can pick whatever color you know floats your boat and you can add that color so now that color is added there so we're happy with it and I can change my image opacity how transparent and dark I want it well now that I did that I gotta go back and change my text so click on the text add a text and change the color to back to light so it's clicking on an object, moving the object where you want to, and seeing how things all go along. So that's our splash page. The next thing is we're gonna to go to welcome, and we're going to go to our portfolio page. So this is our welcome page, let's go to portfolio. So right here, we're going to click where it says Zoe, and we're just gonna change that to Dom, just like we did before, Dom Marks. If I do, well, I'll definitely put your marks up. <laughs> uh, I killed me. All right, so this time notice that I marked, clicked the letter, and it wasn't long enough, so I can always make the box bigger. 
All right, once again, I can change that. I want to change it from urban to, I don't know, maybe isolated. Isolated photographer. All right, so just a, a little tagline there. You can come up with your own. So now in here, here is our gallery, the way that it's set up. And later on, you can see that we can actually make some modifications, but just for the ease of getting you in, getting your feet dirty, but don't get your feet dirty because then you have to wash them. Remember, wash your hands. Yeah, I guess you can wash your feet, that's just great. Anyways, manage the media. You're going to click on manage media. In here, these are all the photos that are appearing in this gallery right now. So if you want, you can pick that one and say, hey, you know what, I don't want you in my gallery. And you can see, I got rid of it. You can see some stuff in the background was happening. I can change the order. Maybe I want that first. I notice that images come in in different sizes, landscape, portrait, mode, and so forth. So there I can change the, the order of them. And the most important part is because obviously we don't want to use someone else's photos. We're going to go to add media, add image, and then in here you can upload some more pictures you're going to go to upload from your computer or from google drive the stuff that was on the side there gave you some options and uh, so you can see also maybe some some graphics i don't have other pictures there that i saw right away so you're going to upload your photos that you were taking you're going to put them up there once that photo gets popped in there you're going to go add to page it adds but it adds it right at the very very bottom and there it is so then i can click on it and just like we did before you could actually just move those up and right maybe that might be the first picture it's so lovely all right so it seems pretty straightforward hopefully from here that kind of gets you an idea of uh, the way that these pictures will be and so if you can mix and match this, that will get you going. After that, once you are happy with your photos that you've updated, you can go to preview, be able to see how this kind of looks. There's that magic that was happening. The beauties, love that. All right, and then I can always go back to editor when I ever need. And if I want to, when I'm happy, I can go to publish. Hit that big publish. I'm a publisher, I'm a curator, I'm a you name it. And in here, this is the way that this site is going to be named so later on if you want you can change this last site that says my site and in here you can view site and there's the site the way that it look looks beautiful i could enter the site and there is my picture that i've added tom gomes the isolated photographer okay. so that is not a preview that's just the actual site live i don't know if you could even add your little parts there they're pretty cool so i'm just going to click that off there and i am done okay and later on we learned that you can actually edit a mobile version you can see what it is however the majority of the things has to be done on the desktop icon that you see up here but later on we'll get you there we will get you there from here well hopefully that's probably enough for a day Hopefully you guys understand the concept behind it. Hopefully I didn't bore the heck out of you. And uh, anyways, I think you're gonna have some fun with this. All right, you to take care. And uh, so to get out of this, once you've published it and you're happy, you could go to site, you can save it. Now saving it, it automatically saves it. You go publish now and it's published. And in here, that was the, the part there. Done, site. I can go here to exit the editor. I'm going to exit the editor. And then it'll be here for my sites to be able to see. So here's my other sites. This is the one that I normally have. And these are other ones that I clicked on just to see what they look like. All right, hopefully that gets you started. Have a great day, kids.